Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. CLEP. It's Tuesday the 8th of June, we have a couple of mods and we have a few updates. I'm going to say right off the bat now, I'm hoping the thumbnail is not clickbaity. The reason I say that is that the two mods that popped up in the Mods Hub and on the Mods Hub website, on the, on the uh, Farming Simulator website, one of them disappeared off of the website mod hub. That's not unusual. At the time of recording this, it was still in the game mod hub. When you watch this, it may not be. I was just a bit puzzled why it disappeared out of the, the website mod hub. But hopefully it is. And if it has been removed, hopefully it just needs some tweaking or an update and it will come back. But I'm fingers crossed it's going to be there. So the updates are as follows. From top left, the Annaberger HTS2203 and HTS2903 by Redcat3D, the Lemken D24 by AW Modding ABP team, the Alpine Pack by uh, Zakaparik, the Pack of Old Medium Buildings by Wilovisco TV, and the Silo for Crops by Bartson V3 and Pazemek23433 have all had updates today. To start off with then, we have this. This is the Lenny Mountain Chalet by Nerovsk. This is incredibly well detailed with loads going on. In essence, it is a sleep trigger. But it's a sleep trigger for the bougie among you. For those of you that like a bit of luxury. Um, and I'll tell you why. It is 45.01 megabytes download. It's 37 slots and it will cost you 1.5 million. So one end of the scale, you've got a pillow. The other end of the scale, you've got this. But it's very nice indeed. Let's have a tour round. We do have garages in the lower section here. There's no lighting in there that I could tell. But then we go up the stairs, up onto the raised platform. Like I say, even if you're thinking, oh, I'm not going to touch up the barge pole, the level of detail on this is astounding. It's, it really is amazing. So we go inside. We do have a light switch to the side there. Now that I found was a little bit tricky because it was close to the door. But you can, at the right angle, there we go, light on or off, just there. Let's close the door because we're going to leave a different way. But even down to this, the quality of, there's no blurring or anything on the pictures. So we go around this floor here, we've got a dining area, nice solid table, even this sort of thing with the glass inserts. Do you think the time it must have taken to make all of this it is mind boggling? The cooker hob. Then we go through to the bedrooms, we have got one here. Oh no, that's the bathroom, sorry. Which, that's, don't get me wrong, lovely. I don't think any of these things work. I've been around looking for again can we get the light switch to work they're a little bit finicky there we go and then this bedroom so we've got the bathroom and we've got the bedroom here's your sleep trigger so just there but again we've had some buildings you go inside and they're pretty bland and you know oh, this is yeah I'm not going to use the word astounding again we go up first What's supposed to be glass looks like glass. What's supposed to be aluminium, steel, whatever it is, looks like it. The furniture, it looks like fabric. Absolutely brilliant. Big enough TV? I think so. More dining and great views. Light switch to the side there. Now onto the veranda, raised deck, however you want to refer to it. Balcony, and then from here we will go all the way down because this is split level it's not technically a basement because it's not because it's on the ground we came up to come into the first floor and then down here we've got another kind of cinema room lots of lovely seating no shortage of wine and if that's not enough little bar area <laughs> Some vats, some vats of whatever it is you want to have, and a fish tank. Although there's no fish in there, I did look at the. Oh, that is, 
awesome. Is there anything in there? I don't think there is. And then from there, again, another light switch outside to the pool. And a little open area at the back here. Like I say, it's expensive. It's heavy on the slot count. Um, but it is incredibly well made. So there you go. That's the Lenny Mountain Chalet by Nerosk. Moving on. So this is the mod that potentially, fingers crossed with this, but this, I think, is phenomenal. I love it. Something very different. This is the Slurry Bag by Luca Modding. 10.28 megabytes download. This is. This will work. I'm playing on PlayStation, so it will work on console, but it is manure system ready. So you can hook up all your pipes and pumps and, you know, it, amazing. There is a video on the Farming Simulator website mod tub that shows how to use this. I've had a bit of a fiddle around. So, in essence, we have got the bag itself and then we've got the trailer for the bag. This is a bit like the grain bags you get that you roll out, you feed from an auger wagon and it's a temporary placement area if you run out of storage space or whatever. It's a similar sort of thing. In essence, a filled container. So you can put it by the side of a field and when you're doing your slurring, you can come to it to collect. Then when you're done, you can roll it back up and put it away for storage. So it doesn't take up as much room as a big filled container either. But that's just brilliant. You'll find this under tools and slurry tanks. The slurry bag is five slots. The bag trailer is also five slots. Eight grand for the bag, eight grand for the trailer. A lot cheaper than getting one of the um, filled containers. Then we've got options for small volume, 105,000 litres. Medium volume, 180,000 litres. Large volume, 240,000 litres. That's pretty big for 18 grand. That's pretty impressive. I think I went for the large volume. Then with the trailer, we've got the main colour we can change to anything on that palette. Rim colour, anything on that palette. And then design colour we'll leave on red. And that is for where it says no weight or weights. It puts a bar weight on there. It's the weight that is the design colour. And then we've got tyre choices. We've got Michelin or Trelleborg. Those are the two and there's nothing within those. You just get those two options. So... How does this all work? Well, you need to make sure that when you hook up to your trailer, your trailer is set top left to load unload position first. You also need to come at this in this direction with the nozzles on the bag on the left hand side of the trailer. Otherwise you won't get the hookup option come up. So like that, because I'm in load unload position, I load the slurry bag like that. Now I need to switch because that's now put me on the bag. Now to the back to the trailer. Now from load unload position, L1 and X, I put it into its transport position and it's on the trailer and we are good to go. So we take it off to the field wherever we're going to go. Wherever you want to put it is entirely up to you. Now there's a couple of ways of doing this. When we get to the field, you can do it from this position if you want to. It does suggest from all of the pictures and the video and whatnot that's available, you do it from this position here. So you drive up, you look at your position, hopefully your area is flat. Now, it does also suggest, and this is entirely up to you, that the area you're going to place this down in, you might want to landscape with a flat grass texture, or if you put it down on something concrete or a mud earth texture or something like that, you can, you don't have to, the only reason being if you put it on long grass, the long grass can poke through the bag and it can look like there's kind of grass growing through it. It's just for an aesthetic thing, it doesn't affect the usage of the bag whatsoever, um, but you might want to do that. Now, L1 and right stick side to side, then rotates the trailer and we are ready to unload. So from transport position, we go to unload position and it's down on the ground. Now we switch to the bag by pressing triangle and unfold slurry bag. That's our slurry bag unfolded. Good to go. We detach from it. Now, I want to rotate that back round again. So we're good for transport, so I don't hit hedges and things on my way home. Whatever I'm doing. Yeah, it's a bit more fiddly than a filled container, but it, like I say, it's slow profile. If you go for the small one, it doesn't take a huge amount of room. Obviously, like this, it takes up way much more 
way much more room way more room way more room than a fill container but it holds way more as well so that's just laid down as you can see some of the grass where it slopes down is poking through a little bit so I mean, that like i say it's aesthetic it's a type tube now once unfolded to put slurry into it you need a slurry tanker or a tank of the whole slurry or something equivalent and what should happen is we come alongside trigger should come up like so and we start overloading so we're putting out 30 odd thousand litres into the slurry bag like I say this is the large one so it will hold 240 thousand litres I think that'll probably do for the purposes of this demonstration And then, whenever you're doing your slurry in, with your slurry tank, tanker, spreader, sprayer, whatever you're using, this will take digestate as well, so slurry or digestate, not both at the same time, you can't normally mix. Start filling, so we're now filling from the bag into our slurry spreader. And off we go to our fields. Which is just brilliant. Now, actually, what I'm hoping to check now is the other way. Will it allow me to take out of it with this tanker? Just curious. Will it say refill? Yep, L3. So I take all everything back out of it again. If you finish slurrying the area you're slurrying and you're done with it, you can then take out what you put into it, like that. Then you just roll the bag back up, take it back to your farm, stick it into a garage somewhere or a barn or storage until you next need to use it. It's great. It, like I say, it's just something a bit different to have in game. We haven't had before. I like the idea of it. I just really hope this hasn't disappeared from the mod hub. I hope it's still there. And if it has gone, I hope it's not long before it comes back. Because that would be disappointing. So we've attached our bag. Fold, sorry, bag. L1 and X. Then we want to switch to that. Load, unload. Onto our trailer. We're in transport position. No, nope. there we go. Swing that back around. Once we're done, we just go and put it away. And because you have multiple bags and just the trailer back, you can take them off and put them around your map and do whatever you want. So there we go. That's it. That's the slurry bag from Luca Modding. Very cool. And that's it for the mods for today. Unless they drop anything later, which would be odd. There's no maps today that I can tell. Um, I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.